Hello people, I hope all of you are doing well. This is Pratik from Popping Up. In this video today, we will learn how to edit different parts of our image separately. That is possible with the selective tool option. This tool is very effective when you want to apply different types of adjustments to different areas. Personally, this is one of my favorite tools out there. I use this a lot, especially for my landscape shots editing. Now, let me select an example for today's demonstration from my gallery. Suppose I want to adjust the brightness and contrast of my image. What I would do is usually use the tune image option. But as you can see, anything that I select here would be applied to the entire image, which is not what I want. With selective, we can apply the effects to the specific areas instead of the entire image. All we have to do is Select the area which you want to edit, then make the necessary changes. But before we get into this, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, do check out our other videos and most importantly, please feel free to share your feedbacks and comments. Back into the editing mode, in Snapseed, click on the selective, tap on the area of the image that you want to adjust. This adds an adjustment point that is a small circle to your image. You can pinch in or out to increase or decrease the area of the selection. The highlighted area appears in red. Now what I want to do is I want to make the sky look more bluish. A couple of things worth noting here would be you can have as many adjustment points in your image as you want. Also remember the further you move away from the control point, Snapseed reduces the effect by fading it out. It does not extend to the entire area. Now swipe up or down to access the four adjustment tools. We have brightness, contrast, saturation or structure. Once you select a tool, drag left or right to adjust accordingly the levels of the effect. Let me quickly make a few changes. I think the sky definitely looks much better now. We want to apply the same effects to the other area also. Yes, I definitely need to. For this, I don't have to do the entire effects again. All I have to do is click on the adjustment point and tap on the copy icon. Move over to the area where you want the same effects to be applied and now select paste. That's it. Similarly, you can always delete any adjustment points by simply clicking on the bin icon. But before we close, let me add a bit of green to my image. Also remember you can tap the eye icon to view your image without the adjustment points. I'm done with my editing. Do you notice the difference? Thank you for watching. Hope you like this. Do subscribe to our channel.